I'm audible. Thanks, Jay. Thanks, AOS, for giving me this opportunity. I'll be talking on micropulse laser in chronic CSR. We have about uh, six cases with a follow up of about two to three years. I'll be presenting one of the cases. So, this uh, uh, patient uh, is a 49 year old dentist. He has uh, quite a significant requirement for good visual acuity. He had been for five years on CS with CSR. Presented in 2018 with visual equity of 6 by 9 in the right eye and 6 by 9 again in the left eye. He was a left liner on. Uh, he, we diagnosed with an octa. He had a CNVM and a CSR in the right eye and the CSR in the left eye. He received uh, intravitreal injection of ranibazumab followed by uh, ILEA in, in, in the right eye and MPLT, micropulse laser in the left eye. So we'll be focusing more on the left eye, and then we'll, I'll show you the follow-up in the subsequent years. So this is what was his clinical presentation in the in the right eye. Uh, he ha had a picture of CSR um, and uh, as well as in the left eye. So you see in the right eye, he has a neurosensory detachment. There's a pachyperoid and there's a notched uh, PD. In the left eye, he has got a, a neurosensory detachment with multiple small PDs. Now, considering on the right eye, we find that uh, he has polyps, and uh, we decided to uh, uh, give him an anti vegf He belonged to the ESI, so he opted for the Lucentis initially, followed by intravitreal injection of ILEA in both the eyes. And he did well post third ILEA, where we could see that his uh, uh, PD had settled and his uh, polyp had disappeared. In the left eye, we treated with micropulse laser since he didn't have any uh, um, uh, collateral neovascular membrane. And this was done on 6th November 2018. Initially, after about three weeks, his neurosensitive detachment, as you can see here, had increased. His visual equity had dropped, though he didn't notice it. And subsequently, uh, in February, that's about three months post uh, micropulse laser, the retina had flattened and his visual acuity was six by six. He came back in September 2019. He was doing well in the left eye, which is almost 11 months post micropulse laser. Uh, and he had received three injections of anti vegf in the right eye, and he had recurrent metamorphopsia and in the right eye, for which he received additional three injections of ILEA in December 2019, January 2020, and February 2020. Now, in February 2020, he came back to us. He was that time doing well in a right eye because he had received three injections of ILEA. He had no neurosensitive detachment, no evidence of CSR, but there was a remnant PED. In the left eye, he had again a recurrent CSR. This was 15 months post first uh, micropulse laser treatment. At this time, I again treated him with micropulse laser. And that was on 23rd of February, 2020. And subsequent to that, COVID happened. He was apparently well for about two years. He presented to me again on 29th of January, 2021 with symptoms of metamorphopsia, now in the right eye, which had received anti vegf the left eye was reasonably okay. He had smiled metamorphopsia. So he had received two cycles of uh, intravitreal injection ILEA and twice he had received micropulse uh, laser. So this is the right eye now. There, is, uh, uh, there was no uh, collateral neovascular membrane. There was just a typical CSR with neurosensory detachment. And in the left eye also, he had uh, some areas of minimal neurosensory detachment. So we decided to do micropulse laser and he insisted that I do micropulse laser for his left eye as well. So the patients, I have still to review him uh, and his next review is due in uh, March, uh, uh, around 10th of March. But on a telephonic conversation with him, he says that he's back to his work uh, as a dentist and his metamorphopsia is reduced in both eyes. Just to share some of the unfast images, uh, this was what was on 22nd of September 2019, and this is the right eye. This is in December 2019, and this is in January 2022, when you can see the large neurosensory detachment uh, with a PD, which is evident here.
In the left eye, this was in November 2018, 11th December 2018, and you can see here uh, uh, the large neurosensory detachment which occurred after the micropulse laser treatment. And this is on 22nd September 2019. This is just to show that despite having treated a large area of uh, the, the macula with micropulse laser treatment, there's hardly any effect noticeable on the uh, in, in the IOSOS junction or the retropigment epithelium. This no, was on 23rd February 2020. Dr. Arora, we need to wrap up. Yeah, yeah. So this is the uh, this is the final. So I would not. So basically, in conclusion, micropulse laser therapy is my treatment of choice for chronic CSR. It is safe, can be repeated, and probably causes no damage to the neurosensory retina. It is certainly cheaper than PDT, and Octa helps us to decide which cases you can avoid, that means by detecting CNBM, and which cases you can go ahead and do microperspiration. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, very nice. And I think you brought out 